more on this. We are now being joined live by Jagruti Dave from Washington, D.C. Jagruti, a very good morning to you. Tell us, it seems that the situation in the United States is getting more grim day by day. And yet, President Donald Trump seems to want to open up the economy in a big manner, as he said recently. So what exactly is the true story as of now? It's a tension between um, public's, public health and the health of the economy at this stage. Um, shutting down uh, the economy to maintain social distancing was important. It was what the health experts are adv were advising to do based on the modelling that showed a uh, significant death toll if nothing were to be done. Um, and so uh, whilst, as you say, in places like New York, which is the, which is the epicentre of, uh, of the crisis in the United States, it is preliminary results are seeing um, that they there is a flattening of that curve. However, health experts, the governor, they're all saying that social distancing must continue to be maintained to ensure that that curve continues to flatten and that there isn't a spike. But of course, while these measures are in place, the economy is shut down. Uh, other than essential workers, most people are maintaining social distancing and staying at home. And this is having a toll on unemployment numbers. Um, this is having a toll on the markets, although the markets have been, uh, have been rallying um, since those plunges that we saw a few weeks ago. Um, but this is a t the tone of optimism. The president is clearly pushing um, towards, uh, uh, at some point, giving hope that the economy will reopen. He keeps saying sooner rather than later, but it's really unclear as to exactly when that's going to happen. It's going to have to be a gradual process, um, say the health experts. Right. Now, as you also mentioned, New York continues to be the epicenter of this disease in the United States. And the governor believes that the curve may be flattening. So what are the authorities predicting as of now? Well, at the moment, um, there's, they're not giving predictions. Um, you know, people are asking when will New York reopen? When will be, people get, be able to go to the famous theatres on Broadway? And, and uh, Governor Cuomo is saying we can't say for sure. We can't, um, you know, we, we can't look to Broadway. We can't look to all those iconic New York uh, features uh, at this moment. All they are concentrating on is continuing to flatten that curve. Models are saying that social distancing mitigation is working. They are saying that they're revising down uh, the projections for the death toll uh, in, in various places because of the mitigation, looking in particular to New York. So um, at the moment, it is, as Dr. Fauci has said, mitigation, mitigation, mitigation. Right. Uh, my final question. There seems to be a verbal uh, tussle of sorts between President Trump and the WHO head, as President Trump believes that the World Health Organization is China-centric and the U.S. may even cut off funding to the organization. So do you think this friction between the U.S. and the WHO will continue. Well, it's today's briefing. Um as the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, was asked about this, and he sort of reiterated what um, the President had said yesterday. He said that they are looking into it. Um, they are looking into the funding uh, of the WHO by the United States. Um, and they, the, critis the criticisms of the WHO continue from Mike Pompeo and the President. But as um, the Director General said, that now is not the time. And Mike Pompeo also said, um, with regards to actually criticisms of China, he said, now is is not the time to go into into the blame game, um, despite the president having uh, blamed the, the World Health Organization only yesterday. Um, clearly, they are uh, at the moment in the process of looking into uh, how, if and when they're going to withdraw, withhold funding. But um, globally, the uh, concern is clearly the messages working together, uniting to try to have a, a global approach to combating um, the, the, the spread of this virus. All right, Jagadhi, thank you.